fix this daggone phone. It keeps saying service error. I get tired of this. Every time I fix this daggone phone, man, or something, it always something. Anyway, it's your man, Herbal Love. I don't know if it might do it again, but if it does, I don't give a hell. Listen, let me share something with you guys for y'all who are new to my channel. I am known as the controversial man. I am the devil's advocate, okay? I'm not on the hype train. I'll be on the hype train when, you know, doing certain elements of when our team makes certain moves or when we're playing and all that, but I always use critical thinking. I do it from a non-biased standpoint and I don't really care if people dis people disagree with me. That's the whole point about you having your opinion as I have mine. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you think or what I think is based on what the front office decide to do. We're just individuals just giving our opinion. So please do not catch feelings. Please do not have to wipe your drawers because you done donkey on yourself because I done said something that made you upset and your mama came and banged you in the head because you was crying in the basement like a little baby. So I'm just joking with y'all guys. Anyway, like my man Brother Love said from WWE, well, yeah, WWE, I can't say the other one, but W, yeah, WWE, he said what? I love you. So with that being said, let me get to this. All right, now, now I made videos about Lou Walton. I stated about Lou Walton, you know, not being a part of the, you know, of, of everything that's going on. You know what I mean? Just not being a part of it. And, 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 and I'm trying to get you guys to think logically. Like I said it before, and I said it in my videos a while back. I said, do y'all think Lou Walton be around a while? I said, be around. I said, you know what? If it, if doing the all, what I said, uh, doing this season right here, doing the all-star break, if the Lakers are not where they want to be, don't be surprised if Lou Walton all of a sudden resigns, step down. And the reason why I say that, that's before we even got LeBron James. But I said this also in my videos a while back. I said, LeBron James, I said, LeBron James, uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for this shirt, you know, eat my shorts. Anyway, LeBron James, I said, I said to be fair about between Paul George and LeBron James, I said, I'd rather have LeBron James over Paul George, based on the fact I said Lou Walton needs a leader on the floor. Somebody that can help him establish himself as a coach because he's still young, he's still inexperienced, he's learning as he go with trial and error. So all I do when I make my videos, I just call out the obvious what I see. Because I'm not caught up in the hype. Like I I was hype about them getting LeBron, but after the hype settled down, I had to sit there and think. Like, what are they really trying to do? What are they doing making these moves? And it's just the little things I'm just paying attention to based on what I see from Twitter, um, from uh, from media sources, and all that. I just pay attention. You know, I try to be very observant and not so caught up in the hype. But anyway, LeBron took a, uh, a picture on, well, you know, it's on the Twitter feed with him, Brandon Ingram, and I think Kuzma. Then he had another picture with Palenka, and I think it was KCP. So all this is going on. This guy met everybody, you know, I guess he met everybody on the team. Say so he liked the young squad and all that. And I got a video to that as well. Say so he liked the young squad and all that. But my biggest problem is still the exact same thing I said a while back. What the hell is up with Luke Walton? I know a lot of people seen the video where Luke Walton was talking about, like, you know, he going to tweet his, you know, his system a little bit to fit LeBron and all this and that. Um, LeBron going to have the ball uh, a lot. Um, and people don't don't see into that. To me, personally, look, um... Lou Walton has no control over the team. And I know y'all probably say, why you say that Irving, he does have control. No, he does not. He has not even met LeBron James. LeBron James met everybody on the team that's, that's, that's important to him. I believe he has not even met the coach. How and then Pelika come out and say that, you know, all the players, you know, uh, the players are going to basically, you know, um, we say only one got to start spot LeBron. Everybody else got to fight for position. I told you guys, listen. They didn't get these veterans to think that these veterans are going to come off the bench. Not all of them are coming off the bench. Some of them are going to be starting. I know JaVale McGee most likely going to be starting. But don't be surprised if Lance Stevenson start or Rondo start. Yeah, I'm, I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm not going to say so much Lance Stevenson, but he might get a lot of playing time when it comes to physical defense, especially when LeBron want to run his thing. So I'm telling you guys, at the end of the day, it's kind of sad. That by me looking at it, it's like Lou Walton has no, just don't have no say-so. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to have to tweak my system. No. You don't have to tweak your system to fit LeBron. LeBron's system does not freaking work. And people sit up there talking about, oh, it worked. No, it does not. It does not work. It didn't work. In reality, Golden State should be up 4-0 on chips. The only reason why they won that one chip is because of Draymond Green's situation. And I call people over and over again, yeah, I'm a controversy person. Draymond Green should have been ejected back against OKC when he banged Adams in the nuts twice. But when he did LeBron, because LeBron stepped over him with his nuts. And he banged, you know, he pushed it out of the way and they kicked him out the game because why? They wanted the game to go further than what it is. And remember, Andrew Brogan was already out. But he out, no, I think he was out before that. Then Draymond Green went out. He came back in game seven. I think it was game seven. Yeah. They know three to one. 
So think about it, man. I mean, that one game, it killed their morales. It killed their inspiration. Because Draymond King came back. Draymond Green came back, but he was never the same Draymond Green after he got ejected out of the game. Even those videos all about him talking about it, like he was the reason why they lost. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. Don't get me wrong. I like LeBron James. I, I respect him on and off the court. My only biggest problem is that Lou Walton seemed like he's not in the in the mix of it. You know, anytime when Palinka come out as a GM and say that all the players, except for LeBron, are going to have to fight for position, shouldn't that be the coach doing that? Shouldn't the coach be in the midst of that? Y'all not paying attention to this. These guys are making decisions without Lou Walton. Lou Walton hadn't even met LeBron. Oh, you know, we text him. You know, I'll text him back and forth. He hadn't even met him. So I'm hoping that, so that's why I say Lou Walton is going to be a yes man. I feel bad for Lou because if it don't go away that LeBron wanted to go, Lou Walton's out the door. I know a lot of y'all might disagree with that. Y'all might say, Urban, you, you know, uh, Urban, you, you're overthinking things. And all that. No, I'm not overthinking. I'm paying attention because I'm not caught up in the hype. And I'm watching, I'm sitting there like, damn. You know, he's sitting there talking like, you know, he got to tweak his um, system in order to fit LeBron. No, you don't. You know, the whole point about it, that, they, see, they did the same thing with IT last year. When IT came there, instead of them having IT play off the ball, they had IT bringing the ball down and let freaking Le um, Lonzo Ball play off the ball. When Lonzo couldn't shoot and IT can shoot, it didn't make any sense to me. Lonzo was a better point guard than IT, but yet you let IT bring the ball down, so Lonzo became a, a mere shadow of himself because if y'all remember, before we made that trade, Lonzo was actually rolling. He was making his shots and all that. Remember the game? I think it was the Spurs. I think it was the Spurs. I forgot who it was. We banged all them threes and brought us back and won the game. I forgot, I think it was that game. And then we made the trade. And then we made the trade once IT came. IT basically was like, IT basically was like, uh, what, what, what? IT, after we, what, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, when we made the trade with IT, IT basically took over the point guard position and they had Lonzo playing off the ball and Lonzo looked like garbage. He, you know what I mean, could make shots and nothing. And I said, well, that's stupid. Why would you do that in order to fit IT? IT coming to your system, you should make, make sure IT change. But that's when them egos come in at. You know what I mean? IT probably, I don't know what he probably told Luke, but Luke, at the end of the day, I feel bad for Luke. Luke, to me, is like another Ty Luke. He can be a yes man. Yeah, he might run his system how he run it a little bit based on the fact of who's on the floor. But when LeBron on that floor, we're going to see that LeBron system. I, that, <laughs> that LeBron system just don't work. I mean, you look at Westbrook. Remember, this is the West. Don't Please do not compare the East to the West. Please don't do that. Because anybody that gets to the final, don't give it to the Celtics. The Celtics are probably the team that probably give people run for their money if they get to the finals. But... It's the West is the deep. West is strong, period. When you're in the East, you have opportunity to get to the final, especially you know LeBron James. The West is a different animal. You're over here in the West, that freaking ISO system is not going to work in the West because teams not to defend that. You don't believe me? Why do you think OKC is where he at now last year? With three freaking stars, and they could not even establish themselves. They could not get in. Everybody had them at the, in the top four. They didn't even make the freaking top four. I mean, top five. They were like, what, six or seven? Barely made the playoffs. So and in, re in reality, because they run that ISO play, man, and that's the same thing LeBron is going to run when he come over here. If Luke Walton tweak his system to fit LeBron's style of play, it's not going to work. I like the idea. Matt Johnson said they're going to utilize him, try to play, get him more playing back to the basket, play him down low because it makes sense. This is the West. They in the East. You can have him dominate down low as a power forward. You know, he's big, man. Dude, like 260, 6'8". Ain't too many people banging with LeBron. LeBron just got to get that physical contact. But LeBron like to have that ball up top. And like the, you know, he like to drive to the basket. He don't really play back to the basket. So I'm just trying to figure out how they're going to work. Because at the end of the day, you know, I mean, and Lou Walton said he's going to have the ball a lot. Lou Walton, he didn't see height happy. I mean, if you look at his face, you know, he'll laugh here and there. But he didn't really see happy. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when they say, when, well, how, well, well, how, well, where were you when, uh, LeBron, you know, signing with up. He said, well, I was in the back of my yard, you know, just chilling, you know, and then I, my phone was blown up, but I thought it was probably like, you know, uh, and I, I don't want to over, over exaggerate, but at the end of the day, I just feel bad for Luke that he, LeBron has not met Luke yet. Palinka and him had not set up an opportunity for it. Cause I'm telling you guys, there's never been a, a situation where a star player or, 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 or a person they just draft or, or traded for or signed as a free agent never met the coach. Never met the coach. You met everybody else. And see, I, I gave LeBron the benefit of the doubt. You see, well, you know, he, he's you know he's on a vacation. He's enjoying himself. But then I see all these pics with him with all the, with some of the teammates. I'm like, why you ain't meet Luke yet? Luke is your coach. Y'all should always sit down and have a discussion. And I'm not saying that oh, later on they were going to have a discussion, but that's something they should already nip in the butt at the beginning. You know what I mean? Like when he first came there, Luke and him should already sit down and have a discussion about what they're looking towards the future. And I, I know a lot of people say, like I said, well, he's on vacation, he's doing this and that, but the dude work out every day. They got videos of him working out right now. So you mean to tell me he cannot take time out of his busy life to go talk to Luke and say, yo, this is what we're going to know. And just, just, but I mean, not but hey, but you know, um, 
bang heads and try to see what is it that we're going to do in order to make this system work. You know, how are we going to do things in order to get it the right way that we want to go? Because I don't know, I, I, I might, you know what? It is what it is, but I'm just I'm just a controversy dude, man. I just try to look at things from a non-biased perspective, man, and I'm just I'm just seeing things, and, and I'm really not happy about the way Luke Walton is being carried. And I'm not a big Luke Walton fan, but I'm a Lakers fan, man. And one thing about me is that when I see things, I just call it for what it is. And you know, a lot of y'all gonna say, oh, you know, Urban, you overthinking it, or you know, well, you know, it's hey, Urban, it's it's just you know what I mean. Well, you know, he we we basically this. A lot of people will get in the comment section. I already know this. They're gonna try to defend. And make excuses. I already know that. It's all good. I'm not mad at you. It's just my opinion and from what I see. At the end of the day, I think that him and Luke Walton should have talked. We cannot make excuses when he's still making uh when when his Twitter feeds popping up of him meeting some of the players, but not meeting the coach yet. And then Pete and then Palinka come out and say, Well, all the players are gonna, you know, it, it, it's not gonna be um, you know, you're not just gonna get a spot, you're gonna fight for position. Think about it. Who's behind all that, man? LeBron James is the coach, but you know y'all don't see it, man. You know it is what it is. Le LeBron James is the coach, and he gonna try to run that. Hoping Luke, all I'm saying, Luke Walton, please, I'm begging you, Luke. If you watch this video, man, talk to Magic Yo, you gotta run your system. Luke Walton's system is not bad at all, man. Luke Walton got a hell of a good system, man. I like his system. It works. It's just that the biggest thing was the time management, rotation, and free throws. It's not a bad system, and they can rock with anybody. But, you know, when Magic said we're going a different route, you know what I mean, and everybody say, well, you know, um, it's not going to be so much banging down low and this and that. We already was a good defensive team. You know what I mean? That's, that's to make sure we understand that. We already were a good defensive team. These guys, they got more physical, high IQ type players. I know they say, well, what about JaVale McGee? I don't want to get into JaVale McGee. I'm talking about Lance and I'm talking about uh, Rondo. If you go look at Rondo's track record, you know what he can do defensively. You know, when it came to IT, when it came to Damon Lillard, when it came to, uh, who else he played? Um, who else he played? Uh... Who else did he play? Um, God dang it. Who did he play? What did, who did they play before that? God dang it. Um, David Lillard, who did? Oh, Steph Curry. He's, he he know how to get into your head. So I, I, don't, I don't knock what they pick off. My whole thing is that I'm hoping that they utilize Luke's system. That's all I'm concerned with. That they utilize Luke's system. I'm hoping that they don't get away from it and start running that uh, LeBron James system. It's not going to work on the West, man. The West is a different beast. It worked on the East because you got a lot of weak teams on the East and a lot of bad coaching. But on the West, nah, it's not going to work on the West, man. You got too many good teams, man, that are going to eat that up alive. So at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. I'm just concerned with Luke Walton. I know some of y'all might disagree, but that's my opinion. Anyway, y'all take care. Love you guys. Y'all have a blessed one out there. And most of all, as I tell you always, be safe out there.